So where do adult skin stem cells come from? During embryonic development, cells become increasingly more restricted in what tissues they can make. So back in early development, the skin surface begins to form after gastrulation of the embryo. And at that stage, there's a single layer of multipotent embryonic skin stem cells. And these cells can give rise to the epidermis, the hair follicle, the sebaceous gland. In the case of the epidermis for the unipotent stem cell, those cells exist within the epidermis and when we go from the single layered epithelium to the stratified epithelium, this is the structure of the epidermis that is going to be maintained in your adult skin and the single layer located in the innermost called the basal layer of the epidermis is going to be the only layer of cells that remains unipotent and remains proliferative. These cells are going to differentiate and as they differentiate they start to move upward and these cells way at the top are going to be the cells then that ultimately are going to be sloughed from the surface of your skin continually being replaced by inner cells differentiating and moving upward. So this is the reservoir down here of where the uh, uh, unipotent cells of the adult skin epidermis are going to be. So these are unipotent adult epidermal progenitor cells. These are multipotent embryonic skin stem cells.